It's giving. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aquia for those of you who are new and for those of you who aren't, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and stay a while. I would love to have you here. But today's video is gonna be a wig installation and review. Um, Ali Pro was kind enough to send me this beautiful wig you see on my head. So I'll be installing it for you guys and letting you know my thoughts on this hair. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Before we get started, I just wanted to show you guys what comes in the box when you order this wig so first we have this nice satin blue scarf that you can use to lay down your hair a wig cap another scarf that you can use for your hair i love the fact that they're both satin you also get a pair of lashes that you can use after your install and look cute an elastic band an edge brush and a nice bag to put your wig in for travel purposes lastly an instruction manual on how to wash your wig Okay, starting off, as you guys can see already, I already have a pre-tinted wig cap on my head. Um, this is something that I like to do. I don't like doing the ball cap method because I don't sleep in wigs. So I be tinting my wig caps prior to wig installation. So um, I'm taking this eyeshadow color from my Morphe eyeshadow palette and I'm just tinting the lace with that color so that it can blend seamlessly. I'll have all the products that I use to tint the lace in the description, so make sure to check that out if you need help in that area. So I'm taking my Got To Be Free Spray, and I'm just going to be setting what I tinted with this free spray so it doesn't move and, you know, get around and get messy. After that, I'm just putting the wig on my head and getting it ready for installation. So moving forward to installing the wig, I'm going to be using the black got to be glue gel to lay down the wig. I do not use no type of glue to lay down wigs. I had a bad experience one time with glue and I never went back when I tell you. It's not worth losing your edges and I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to use no ghost bond, no um, freeze. I don't even know what they call them, but I'm not, I don't use glue. I refuse. So I just use got to be glue and honestly it lasts for me. It never lifts. So yeah. Now I'm using the elastic band to secure the lace and secure the wig down even more. And I feel like that combination, I do this all the time. I feel like using got to be glue and using my elastic band just does the job. I don't understand using glue to like have a week long install personally i do not sleep in wigs um normalize not sleeping in wigs because why for what reason but you know it's okay you guys do what you want to do i just don't do it i don't care as you guys can see the parting is a bit wide i over bleached the knots so i'm going to be taking this black eyeshadow and filling in the parts where i over bleached it so that the part looks less wide and more narrow So I'm going to be taking off the elastic band to cut the lace. I will say that since I don't use glue, my wick installation process is more strenuous <laughs> um, to say the least. Um, I have to do more steps because I don't use glue. So that's the only downfall. But as you guys can see, I'm using my razor blade to cut the lace in a zigzag motion. After I finish cutting the lace, I'm going to take you guys are going to see that I'm going to take an eyeshadow shade from my eyeshadow palette and use it to tint the lace even more than now that it's on my head. And then after that, I'm going to take my got to be free spray and I'm going to spray that down 
and then I'm gonna put the elastic band back on my head and then I'm gonna take the eyeshadow to make my part even more narrow because girl it's still wide I know you guys are looking at me like what the heck is this part like what's going on here but sis don't worry you guys saw in the beginning just trust the process okay but I'm gonna let you guys watch and see how I do everything Not me all up in y'all's face like this, excuse me, but we're gonna be doing the baby hairs now. I'm so zoomed in, I'm so sorry you guys. Don't mind my oily skin and I'm breaking out. I literally have clear skin only one week out of the month, but whatever. So I'm gonna be doing the baby hairs now. You guys, when it comes to baby hairs, listen, I don't have the privilege of doing the baby hairs to my eyebrows i just can't the way my forehead is set up it won't allow it because it would just look idiotic so i like to do very minimal baby hairs don't get me wrong the girlies who can pull it off y'all look really good y'all look beautiful i love it for you it's just not for me you know everything is not for everyone and that's just not for me so i'm not gonna do it like i said i like to do very minimal baby hairs i sometimes i don't even do baby hairs but um i'm just gonna be messing around with that you guys can see the struggle on my face because it was coming out too thick and i just did not like that i feel like when it comes to baby hair you really have to do things that mirror your own natural baby hairs because if you do all that extra shenanigan it's just gonna look stupid that's just my opinion after i do the baby hairs i'm gonna be defining the part with my concealer so that the part is not getting balding okay we don't do wide parts out here narrow parts only but yeah i'm just gonna let you guys watch the process of how i do that because honestly i think this is the hardest part for me but you live and you learn and also i did not tweeze the closure of this wig i should have now that i'm watching it over but i'm gonna do that another time i just i guess i was being lazy but yeah sometimes i feel like with curly hair or more wavy hair you can kind of get away with not tweezing just a little bit not all the time but um this hair i feel like straight out the box i did have to wash and condition it as always but straight out the box if you don't know how to tweeze or you prefer not to you could so i really appreciate that about this wig Okay guys, so I'm so sorry for the lighting. I just finished with installing and doing the baby hairs on the wig. But um, yeah, I just wanted to check in so you guys can see what it's giving, cause it's giving. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell like the front, the front like right here, since I over bleached it, I think I had to put like more eyeshadow right here so it's like it doesn't look as blonde but for the most part i think it looks pretty decent pretty good so yeah i'm gonna do my makeup get cute and come back on camera and you guys will get my final thoughts and review i lied i'm gonna come back after this clip i just wanted to show you guys what i'm doing with um the closure part so i'm gonna be taking my luster's wax stick literally my go-to i love that wax stick is just the best and i'm gonna be taking my hot comb and i'm just gonna be pressing down the closure i'm going to be pressing down both sides the left side and the right side as well as the back just so i can ensure that everything is nice and flat
Okay guys, this is the final look with the wig installed. Um, it's giving. I don't care what nobody says. It's giving. It's giving. Like, are you kidding me? Like, look at how pretty. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you guys, sorry, I'm hype, I'm hype, I'm hype. Okay, but um, no for real though, like, come on, y'all. Yeah, to give my honest opinion, I think this wig is super beautiful. I washed and conditioned it and it was no tangles. I did get a little bit of shedding. It was just a few pieces here and there, but that's normal. Like I said, and like I will always continue to say, hair shed, so that's normal. This wig is very, very soft. Even straight out the packaging, I was like, what the heck? Like this wig is so soft. Well, I was worried about it tangling like in the nape, but it hasn't tangled thus far. Then again, I do not sleep in wigs and I don't plan on sleeping in this wig. If you like to wear wigs or you wear wigs often, I really recommend that you don't sleep in your wig just because I feel like that's too much tension on your hairline and too much damage to the wig. If you want your wigs to last longer, definitely do not sleep in it but that's just my opinion i don't know what you guys think but yeah i'll have all the information for the exact wig that i have on in the description below so definitely check that out if you're interested in purchasing thank you ali pearl hair for choosing me to collaborate with you all i really appreciate it um thank you for this lovely piece of beauty on my head i can't say it enough but yeah that's it for today's video you guys let me know your thoughts on this wig if you like it if you don't like it if you're interested in buying it if you have any other questions that i might have missed in this whole video please feel free to leave them down in the description below and i'll make sure to answer it for you so that's it for today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye Eileen girl. It's giving Eileen girl. Eileen girl. Eileen girl. Eileen girl. Eileen girl. Me no picky ingly. No ingly. Only a bunny. A bunny. Me no picky ingly. Is it picky or speaky? I don't know. I think it's speaky actually now that I think about it. Me no speaky ingly. No ingly. Only a bunny. A bunny.